there we go. We've got the brown cap this time. American brown ale. Bottle from the keg. There's a word I like to see. Bottle from the keg. Yeah, I'm really taken with. Bottling from the keg these days. And I'm actually doing it. So yeah, sorry, this is this is the Happy Cap Brewery. AKA Matt Calibre. Me looking for the, just read that and I'm sitting looking for the the muck in the bottom of the bottle. Okay there we go. It's very much brown. It is brown. And a little bit murky. Can't really see through it. No. Well no, you can't, let's be honest. But it's a bloody lovely little cap on the top, of course. Nice small bubbles as well too, always good to see. The smell, let's see what's in it first. So we can see what I'm looking for. Because obviously Matt puts everything on the ball, which is great. Chinook, Chinook, I don't know what Chinook tastes like. Cascade, Cascade and Centennial. Um, and we've got, as far as greens go, Morris Otter, Wheat Malt, Carapels, Crystal 40, Chocolate Malt, and GSO 5. Old Faithful. It is kind of malty. Is it, a, is it an American bird? That it's a end of, Nova, end of November, yeah. This is like toward the end of March. So it's, it's for a bit later. It is kind of, it is kind of malty. Nice little bit of chocolate in there actually. Something else in there as well too. It's nice, there's something fresh in there. A fresh smell, whatever fresh smell means. I'm going to keep pronouncing it fresh like that. So you understand that it's a fresh smell. But there is, there's a nice little bit of chocolate and and yet there's this, all the way through it there's this kind of fresh smell. Okay, just shut up and drink. Oh yeah. It's nice. It's nice. Bit of a better finish on it as well. Too. Not sure it says the ABUs on it. Although it's not exactly, it's not really a hot ball in my mouth. So, but it does, it did have a bit of a, a better finish to it. It's a real kind of nice, nice kind of citrusy, that's the best word for it, citrusy taste. But you still get the, the kind of lovely chocolate and caramel from the um, from the malt as well. Obviously, that's what the what the fresh smell was then. That kind of citrus that can just like um, you know you get your your cleaning products these days, your kitchen cleaning products, and they're all kind of citrus flavors. You know, lime and lemon and all this, and it just cuts through the grease and grain. It's a bit like that beer. I wasn't sure where I was going with it. But it's a bit like that. See if that was a bit more fresh. And obviously it's the end of November. I'd say that would have been smashing. It would have been really... When the hops were really fresh. I think it would be really nice. Very drinkable. It's got a kind of medium, maybe a medium mouthfeel. Definitely not full, but it is medium. I always thought brown eels should be like a real light body, but I'm going from kind of English type of brown eel. 
anything with the word American. It's like, it should be big, just American. Everything's big in America, isn't it? Not what I say. So yeah, everything's slightly bigger. I'm just rambling here, aren't I? <laughs> Have I actually said anything worthwhile in the last five months? Probably not. Mm. I like that. As I said before, what I like is that little bit of citrus running through that. And it's a multi it is a multi beer, but there is that so citrus. Normally people say a multi backbone. I'm gonna say it's a multi beer with a citrus backbone. That's really nice. Um that's really nice, yeah. There's not really much else I can say. I have enjoyed all Matt's beers. Got three of them. Really, really, really good. If I could say which one is the best, I really like this one. But I think that North North. I really think the New England IPA is the best. I was going to say North East IPA. Although maybe it was a bit more fresh, but that was just a bloody lovely hot ball. I do like my hops, let's be honest. But that's not bad either. And then the other one was a really weird one, the white IPA, or the one that the math thought was weird. I thought it was fine. So, anyway, I am just literally rambling here, Matt, I'm so sorry about this. Great beers, thank you very much. I shall be sending something back to you in time. Um, yeah. Cheers.